and welcome. This is Melissa Armon and reviewing the market. So let's let's go over just the last couple of days, shall we? In fact, let's start from Monday. We'll go over the last week. So mar the market gap down on Monday morning. Actually, just load this up here. So the market gap down Monday morning called I don't know seven trades or something. They all worked. Fell, broke, dropped. Okay. Then it rallied the next day. Then it rallied the next day too, okay? Then it did this, this was Thursday, rallied, didn't close that great. And then today, look at this. So we were up today at one point in the day, this was a solid green fat, fat bar up here. 185.58 was the high. In fact, let's just see when that, that's probably around 12. No, it was around 11. Wow. So we started selling off approximately 11.15 and we never looked back today. Interesting. Let's close this at 12. Anyways, my bias for the market after Monday was that we would not immediately go back up to the high. We did not. We did not this week, but we faked like we were going to because we did rally Wednesday and Thursday and we had a little, little fall through. It's a tiny fall through. But anyways, I was being very open-minded about it, looking at it, because overall I'm bullish in the market long term. And, you know, but, you know, that's that's different than looking at things intraday, you know, again, when, when calling equity trades or the options trades, which could be overnight. What what I caution people and what I say is that the market is very volatile. It, it just is. So things can change in a dime. It can literally be just like that. And you are seeing that. That has been very evident not just this week, but last week too. So I would say from from the last two weeks solid, in fact, what was the day? Here, from May 6th through, that was Monday through Friday, two weeks ago, and then Monday through Friday, this is Monday through Friday of this week. You see what the market's done? I mean, anyways, the point I'm trying to make is that the market's very volatile right now, and look for that to continue, at least for the short-term time frame. And I, I actually believe this is going to continue for at least the next 30 to 60 days, could be the summer. But anyways, you really have to make sure that you book profits when you're up, and you also have to make sure you don't kill trades too early, because you could kill a trade and take a loss in something, and then all of a sudden it could go into work. And today's a great example of that, for sure, for sure, okay? So my conviction was that the market would not run straight up to the high. I was, I was certain that we needed to do that immediately if we were going to get over the high and hold here. I think that we're still lower right now. We could be lower into next week. We'll have to see. Oh, that's, the, that's the concierge. But anyways, long story short, conviction is very, very important. It's extremely important, and you need to learn how to have conviction. And my strategy and my system gives me that because I rate the gap. So this isn't like thinking about it. It's you just read it and you go with it. And, th and, and that's what I did this morning. That's what I've been doing for the last two weeks. That's what I've been doing for the last 11 years. So anyways, have a great weekend, everyone. Conviction's very important. And I'll talk to you soon.